50 but frozen in time, how Jennifer Aniston, Kate Blanchett, Jennifer Lopez, Catherine Zeta-Jones and Renee Zellweger, who all hit the big 5-0 this year, have managed to keep aging at bay. They were born in 1969, the year man first walked on the moon. Now some of Hollywood's biggest female stars are set to celebrate a historic milestone of their own, turning 50. Jennifer Aniston, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Renee Zellweger and Jennifer Lopez will take a giant leap for womankind this year as they reach their half-century looking as toned and sexy as women decades younger. Aniston will be first to hit the landmark later this month. The Mail on Sunday has learned she will celebrate in style with a fabulous at 50 party for which all her friends have been asked to record a message that will be unveiled during a This Is Your Lifestyle tribute. But before she indulges in her favorite margaritas, Aniston will start her day with her latest passion, an hour in the boxing ring, sparring with her, much younger, male trainer. Jen is someone who is always looking to step it up and boxing is her newest craze, says a source. She's always mixing it up but she never stops working at making herself better on the outside and the inside. She says she feels more confident in her body than when she was in her 20s. Hollywood stylist Philip Block, 58 has worked with many of the women on these pages and says their secret is twofold, they have all the benefits of modern technology at their fingertips. There have been huge steps in anti-aging potions, lotions, injections, diets and workouts. It takes a team of stylists, nutritionists, beauticians and trainers to look this good. But that takes nothing away from these women. They've worked their butts off to stay youthful and they deserve the credit. For our parents' generation. 50 was over the hill. You were supposed to let yourself go, put on your slippers and become invisible. But now 50 really is the new 30. Jennifer Lopez starts every day chanting, I'm youthful and timeless. Jennifer Lopez has just finished a 10-day, no sugar, no carbs challenge which she shared enthusiastically with her millions of fans on social media, along with jaw-dropping selfies of her rock-hard abs and flawless skin. The singer credits her Latin genes for her lack of wrinkles but she also sticks to a rigorous diet of no alcohol or coffee, and downs at least 3 liters of water a day. She avoids the sun too, preferring to use fake tan, and slathers on Dr. Haushka Rose Day Green, 28 pounds and 40 pence, and Shaw's Saffir Concentrate, a 125 pounds liquid silk facial oil enhanced with Himalayan blue sapphires and aquamarines which the manufacturer promises, offers a sublime energy, scent and texture. Lopez starts each day chanting an affirmative mantra while looking at herself in a full-length mirror as she repeats, I am youthful and timeless. I tell myself that every day, a few times a day, she says. It sounds like cliched bull, but it's not. Age is all in your mind. Look at Jane Fonda, a jaw-dropping 81. Catherine Zeta-Jones, 16 pounds face cream and a 2 pounds and 99 pence lip liner. Welsh-born Catherine Zeta-Jones was a bare-faced ingenue when she first hit our TV screens in The Darling Buds of May in 1991. But since marrying Michael Douglas and winning an Oscar for Chicago, she has become firmly a list with a beauty regime and 50,000 pounds walk-in wardrobe to prove it. Zeta Jones has denied having any plastic surgery and swears the secret to her eternal youth lies in budget beauty products including Moroccan argan oil, which she slathers on her face and hair before she goes to bed. She uses Elizabeth Arden's 8-hour cream, 16 pounds, and sticks to a no-alcohol, low-carb diet which keeps my body free of inflammation inside and out. Her favorite lip liner is by Rimmel, in Tiramisu and cost just £2.99. She started out on the West End stage and still incorporates regular tap dancing lessons into her daily workouts at her home gym. Her tastes in clothes and bags are less modest. Last December, she gave her Instagram fans a live tour through her sprawling black lacquered walk-in wardrobe, which showed a weakness for Chanel bags, Hermes scarves and Christian Louboutin stilettos. Jennifer Aniston, Greek jeans, and 400 pounds laser treatments. She has been a tabloid staple thanks to her turbulent marriages to Brad Pitt and Justin Theroux but one thing that has never changed is Jennifer Aniston's girl next door good looks. She credits her lack of wrinkles to her Greek jeans but her complexion is no doubt helped by monthly 400 pounds clear and brilliant laser treatments, which use pulsating beams of light to remove layers of skin. 
Not every part of her regime is costly however, she recently listed her top beauty tips as water, sleep and sunscreen and says she washes her face every morning with a budget-friendly £2.27 Neutrogena face cleansing bar. Although she created a cult following among women with the Rachel haircut and friends, these days Aniston keeps her longer waves in immaculate shape with trims every six weeks by longtime LA hairdresser Chris McMillan, who invented the Rachel. He also touches up her baby blonde highlights once a month. Aniston has spoken about using a Unite 7 Seconds Detangler, 16 pounds and 99 pence which she spritzes on her hair before leaving it to dry naturally. She has one of the most enviable bodies on the planet and looks the same in a bikini as she did a decade ago. She credits her physique to yoga as well as a diet of lean protein with plenty of fruits and vegetables. She claims to snack on frozen grape sand, for a treat, likes Mexican food washed down with margaritas. I eat well and I work out, but I also indulge when I want to. She recently discovered boxing. Working out with Leina Zubu Ike, founder of LA Studio Glove Works. Renee Zellweger, a six year break at her 40 acre farm. As Bridget Jones, the chain smoking, Chardonnay swilling singleton she brought to life on the big screen, Renee Zellweger bemoans smug Mary Eads and her wobbly bits. But as she approaches her half century, the Oscar winner has been repeatedly forced to deny she has gone under the surgeon's knife to maintain her looks. In an open letter, she said, I did not make a decision to alter my face and have surgery on my eyes. The fact is of no true import to anyone but that it became a public conversation is disconcerting. She added, perhaps I look different. Who doesn't as they get older? Zellweger blamed her changing looks on her hectic schedule, saying she lost weight rapidly and experienced puffy skin because she made bad choices that didn't allow for taking care of myself. It can't have helped that she had to gain weight for the three Bridget Jones films. An avid runner, she now maintains her trim figure with a mostly vegetarian diet. She took a six-year break from Hollywood and retreated to her 40-acre farm in Connecticut and a beach house in the Hamptons before returning for the final Bridget Jones installment in 2016. But as soon as she finished promoting that film, she vanished into the shadows once more. She has not been photographed on a red carpet for more than a year. Something Hollywood insiders say is intentional. One told the Mail on Sunday, Renee is in a good place in life but she finds the endless scrutiny over her looks, her weight, everything, just exhausting. In a rare interview to promote the last bridge and film, she said, I've never seen the maturation of a woman as a negative thing. I've never seen a woman stepping into her more powerful self as negative. Kate Blanchett Stem cells from Korean babies Australian Oscar winner Kate Blanchett is a timeless beauty. But when it comes to keeping her porcelain skin in tip-top condition, she has a rather unusual secret. She once had a four facial using stem cells taken from Korean newborns. Kate told how she and Sandra Bullock, 54, her Ocean's 8 co-star, both tried the facial, called the Hollywood Epidermal Growth Factor, last year with skincare guru Georgia Louise. It uses a serum, derived from cells taken from the freshly removed foreskin of newborn babies in Korea according to the facialist's website, and is said to help build collagen and elastin and make skin appear younger and glowing. Blanchette currently raising eyebrows in the Reese exploitation play when we have sufficiently tortured each other in the West End, has described herself as avidly anti-plastic surgery. She puts her complexion down to her mother keeping her out of the sun and says, in the end, if you have all that stuff, surgery, done you just see the work.